Wow, that smells so Crazy. incredible, yeah. Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to another video. We're staying at this hotel here called Shanashil Hotel, which was opened in 2005. It looks quite old from the outside, uh, quite like worn, but inside it's incredibly nice. We're on our way towards the Abu Hanifa Mosque, uh, which is named after one of the greatest scholars in Islamic history, Imam Abu Hanifa. And we're going to go and pray Jumu'ah there. And then after that, we're going to go and try and visit his uh, grave. It's believed that he's actually buried there. So I'll give you a tour of the mosque. I'll um, show you where he's uh, supposedly buried. It says my driver will be here at 11.45. So I'm using this app called uh, Kareem, if you can just see it there. It's really good. It's, it works. It works just like Uber, so it's really, really easy to use. Just put down where you want to go to. It should have internet connection, obviously, but if you're at the hotel and you've got Wi-Fi, then you can just use it that way. But um, yeah, it's really easy, just like Uber. He's on his way right now, so he should be here in like a minute. That's who's here, let's jump in. Salaam Alaikum. Jubail. Finally reach the mosque. Not really sure which way the entrance is. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. al Masjid, the Khul. Abu Hanifa? Naam, naam. Shukra. Bob. Ah, that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Shukra, shukra. So, yeah, I think, I think this is the masjid here. So I can see people going inside. So you can see this is the amazing minaret, the, the details on there, and then also this entrance here. Check out that minaret, and then the entrance just there as well. The entrance looks amazing. Really excited to be here on the Friday for Friday, the pray the Juma prayer. Assalamu alaikum. So they check your bags uh, as you're on your way in. Look at these details here. It's amazing. All the intricate patterns and everything. Then everyone's just like doing wudu. And that's the minaret just there. It looks amazing. I don't know if that's the minaret or not. Let's just walk around and have a look before we get inside actually. After the prayers, we'll go and try to find the um, where it's believed that Imam Abu Hanifa is actually buried. So you know, you've, they've got these kind of umbrella things here. They're not using it today because it's actually quite cool. It looks warm, but it's only like 21 degrees right now. There's quite a few entrances. It's, it's kind of like it reminds me of the Medina vibes where there's like several entrances and then they've got these umbrella things here i can only imagine that um in uh, in the time of in summer and ramadan and stuff oh, i'd love to be here then probably would be amazing like the atmosphere everyone breaking their fast salam alaikum salam youtube now youtube it's me jubair ahmed shukran bye I think I'm gonna go inside from one of these entrances here, put my shoes here and go inside. <laughs> so the Jumma prayer just finished right now. Uh, they're just reciting a few things uh, They're making some prayers after the main prayer It was such a powerful experience honestly I just can't explain it Such a nice experience I'm gonna walk around and show you a bit more of the mosque right now See this is a side of uh, Iraq that you don't get to see really Walking around here 
in Iraq, in Baghdad, the capital, inside the mosque. You can see what goes on. So the aim of my vlogs is really like two things. Uh, the first thing is kind of trying to show the world that um, Muslims are just normal people. Um, you might see someone with a beard and you might think a certain way, but uh, they're exactly the same as everyone else. And, and the second thing is, most importantly, is to show that Iraq's just a normal place. Like, what we see on the news is completely, like, biased. It's completely narrow, like, the way what they'll show you is completely selective. It's just, life goes on. I mean, look at these kids here. Salam alaikum. So we've met this uh, incredible brother here. His name's Yasin and he's from Belgium. What, could you repeat what you just said to me? Just, uh, yeah, earlier, guys, I came to Iraq, but I never uh, felt so safe than uh, at the, uh, any other countries in the world. So uh, Iraq and Baghdad is very safe. So if you want to join you. some uh, spirituality, history, and if you want to eat a lot of kebab, <laughs> Baghdad is the place to be. <laughs> Kebab and rice and chicken yeah, and things like that. Yeah, rice and chicken, exactly. The food is quite unique here. Yeah. So unique. But and it's also very cheap, guys. And you can portion with portions for... Uh, <laughs> but like, the service is very good. Like, you'll spend like 10 euros, but you'll, you, you'll be full for like two days. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So this is where like uh, the Mu'adhin yeah. does his, uh, gives azan. And the view from here is just incredible. Amazing. Just look at that. We're gonna meet the Imam right now as well, so incredible opportunity. Salam alaikum. Salam. 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 The tomb of Imam Abu Hanifa Rahmatullah Ali. Imam Abu Hanifa was born in Kufa and he passed away in Baghdad. This is his uh, grave here. He was actually one of the four Imams and he was an Imam of, he was a scholar of jurisprudence. Uh, there's a lot of people that uh, follow his way of practicing Islam around the world. One of the major countries close by to here is Turkey. So this uh, amazing brother has brought me here. He's like showing me around this place. It's so friendly here. So you see this door here with the lock behind. Apparently there's a there's a hair. There's there's like hair of the Prophet behind this door. Oh, it's for for the They only open it on two days, so it's like the Laylatul Qadr, which is like the 27th. They say 27th night, uh, possibly, and also the when the Prophet ﷺ was born, which is um, 12th of Rabi'ul Awwal. In yeah. Ithna wa Ashr Rabi'ul Awwal. Right. So incredible. So I wish. We had the opportunity to go inside and see the hair. What's the problem? If they are, if they uh, offer you, you, you can't, can't say no. Yeah, you can't say ah. no. This is a. Uh, ah, they invite us to actually eat here as well. Wow. Never in Iraq I felt like uh, hungry man. I mean, they've just uh, called us in to eat <coughs> some food. Dolma Iraqi. Dolma Iraqi. Dolma, Dolma. Check this out, guys. Look at these breads here. We've got this, uh, I think, salad here, and then Guys, we've also got. Wow, oh, look at uh, those. Uh, so yeah, we were in the middle of doing ziyara of the tomb us. of uh, the grave of Imam Abu Hanifa, and they just invited us in. So generosity here just does not stop. Check this out, guys. They put the bread on top of the on top of the rice, and then they turn it around. Watch this. Whoa! And just wait for it. So it, in this way, the bread actually gets soft and juicy. Bismillah. Wow, that smells so Crazy. incredible, yeah. Crazy, Check out this. Look at all that. Uh, me, onions, I think. Um, beans. Beans and some, some type of lentils. Yeah. The rice looks Crazy so juicy, man. like oh, dripping with sauces. <laughs> <coughs>
Biryani. 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 Mashallah. This little kid knows exactly what. Oh, the biryani is actually famous in Iraq, isn't it? Yeah. Biryani. Biryani is famous in Iraq, even. Hey, hey. Check this food out, guys. We're gonna oh, dig in now. Everything's laid down. Everybody's here, so we're gonna eat. I don't know exactly know how to eat this. Yeah, I'll see yeah. how. I'll actually watch yeah, yeah, how these guys eat. So this is how you eat, Bismillah. So you take off some of the bread, I think it is. And you just dig in, right? Yeah. That's all. So this is gonna get a bit hard vlogging. So I'm gonna switch this off, and yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna dig into the food because I need two hands. So I'll see you guys after the meal. There is truly a lot more blessing when you eat food with other people. Not like in the West, where we kind of like have our own meals. It was such an incredible experience to kind of eat with everybody here, the kids, uh, having a kind of thought-provoking discussions as well. So yeah, uh, we're going to be off now, we're going to head back to the hotel. Um, but yeah, it's just been an incredible experience visiting this mosque, meeting the people here, visiting the tomb as well, um, meeting uh, the vlogger from uh, Yasin from uh, Belgium. We're just going to meet these brothers because we're heading off now. Shukran, shukran, Khalimi, shukran, shukran. Assalamu alaikum. I'll see you. Salam. Shukran, shukran. 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 Visited the mosque, uh, we had some tasty food, we visited the grave of Imam Abu Hanifa and we had some really interesting discussions about so many things when we were inside eating. I'm full, uh, this is the third, third meal of the day, so it's really hard to not, like kind of, it's really hard to go hungry in Iraq, the generosity is just so amazing. But I'm outside here near the minaret of the mosque and um, I'm going to call it quits on this video now, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Hope you've enjoyed seeing what this mosque is like and what Iraqi people are like and met different people and hopefully I should have one or two more videos from Iraq but thanks so much for watching and if you like this video uh, click on the like button subscribe if you want more videos and make sure to click on that notification bell button if you want to stay updated about our new travel vlogs thanks so much again and assalamu alaikum Hi, my name is Javet Ahmed and if you like my travel videos, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram and TikTok to stay up to date with my journeys across the world.